Hey guys, so it's been a bit of a while since I filmed a week in the life vlog of what I get up to at work, taking you guys with me. I think the last time I did a week in the life was me setting up my Brick Lane Vintage store, which was at the end of November. It's been a good two months. Been super, super busy and just kind of getting back into the schedule, of having the shop now and like planning my weeks around that. I was also trying to upload on Depop, keep up with Vivi Way. There was just a lot going on and I didn't really have time time to film like my week in the lives because every week was like really chaotic so I tried to take a massive break over the end of Christmas and New Year's which I did and I spent a lot of time with my friends and kind of relaxing not working as much which was a really nice fresh start to the year I feel like this year is going to be super busy for me which so excited because I have so many things planned I only kind of started getting back into the gist of like a proper routine and that's why I wanted to start the vlog this week because this week I've got a jam packed week with social stuff as well as work stuff every day is looking a little bit different it's every wednesdays now i go into the shop the rest of the week i usually spend in the office from monday to friday on the weekends i now take completely off well not completely but like mostly off now which is such a big change for me just because i knew for the new year i wanted to set myself a resolution of not working on weekends and finally i've actually stuck to it for the month of Jan which I'm really proud of myself for because that was a big thing that I wanted to change was having a better work-life balance and being able to see my friends more which I am um, so that's been really great the shop has obviously been open for a good two months now and let me tell you it's one of well so far it's one of the best decisions that I was able to make it's gone so like I can't even describe, I love it. I love having the shop. I love being able to go into the shop and be there and meet so many people. And it's just so fun. I guess I've been able to meet so many people in the industry, but also people that I look up to, just coming into the shop and seeing so many customers with all their different styles. I've been posting lots of TikToks and kind of photos on my Instagram of my restocks, but also customer fits. They are amazing. Like everyone has such different style, but everyone's is so unique and gives me a lot of inspiration for things that I stock as well as my brand so being able to stock Vivi Way there and being able to see that being tried on by so many girls being bought in the stores like it's a different type of feeling to when a vintage item is bought to when it's your own design you know Biba Doobie came in I love her like she was on my second on my Spotify rack I've literally been following her since I was like 16 so that she came in from my TikTok I wasn't there which was really sad I wasn't there I was on the tube and Gloria who was helping me out that weekend was like texting me being like Biba Doobie's here like she wants to buy your boots and like she wants to buy stuff Gloria said that she came in from my TikTok and that made me so happy because it means that it's working sorry that was just a lot of information but I thought I'd give you an update of what's been happening in my life so in my personal life I don't show a lot of my personal life online I don't show my friends or like talk about my life outside of work really i like to keep it quite private i was gonna move out in january i found a room and everything I kind of fell through which was really annoying and i was really upset about it i know this happens like all the time but i think i basically found out four days before i was set to move that i couldn't move in anymore and i think it was just a feeling of disappointment because i'd been looking forward to it the three weeks prior and I had everything planned I had movers planned I had deliveries planned and then for that to fall through I think I just felt like an overwhelming sense of like disappointment because I planned so much of my life around the fact that I was moving out um I still don't know what's happening with that at the moment I think today I'm finding out if I am able to move out into that specific flat all of my home stuff is packed away my family home like all of my clothes are in suitcases and I haven't unpacked any of it yet because I still don't know if I'm gonna move or not very lucky that I have a family home whilst I find somewhere else today I have a lot of things going on Mondays are obviously the days that I package because the postman comes around three o'clock to pick up the stuff I have loads of stuff to package today actually including a lot of Vivi Way Jade skirts which have been doing so well thank you so much to everyone who's been ordering them and also seeing everyone style them on TikTok is like 
so cute like i love it and everyone styles it so differently layering or they wear it with tights right now because of the winter and so keep tagging me in those because i do love them and i do post them on my vivue instagram too so that people can get a better idea of like how to style it stuff planned this week and i'm gonna bring you guys with me i've got like an outsourced studio opening on thursday which is gonna be so fun i'm gonna see all the girls but also see Lauren's new studio which looks absolutely amazing i'm so happy for her i just can imagine it and picture it decorated by her so well and like making the space really hers so i'm super excited to see that the shop on wednesday I'll show you the shop when it's in motion because i only showed the opening weekend i haven't actually been showing you guys what it's been like like now it's in the gist of things and um, i've started doing menswear which i'm so happy about that i started doing it's my first time like properly doing vintage menswear and stuff all the stuff that i'm sourcing for it i feel like it is still aligned with my shop kind of aesthetic for women's wear and it is been good it's been really good actually i'm gonna show you the studio actually or well, actually i don't know it's probably tidier than you've ever seen it it's still like slightly messy it's so not aesthetic like this whole vibe um my little station when i move out i'm gonna move all of this to my room but i thought it was nice to make my studio a little bit more homey and cozy my little miffy lamp thing my incense holder oops sorry this um little ceramic japanese cup that i got for christmas and all my incense oh my god everything's falling apart right now oh my god oh my god i'm just gonna leave that there for now the angels this is like the flower series i think this is the insect series i don't really know what the thing that she's holding or he he is holding um i love east candle that i haven't used yet i got for christmas this i got for christmas that my mum gave me too a little pick of me because I don't know, I just think when I'm stressed and like feeling a bit rubbish, it's nice to have a little reminder, myself a little bit of a break, you know? Like you can see the floor is a bit more like clean. I have this whole ordeal. It is actually way tidier than it has been. It's a lot more open. And then we have all the clothes. I want to make it a little bit cuter. This is a new lamp that I have. Love 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 i'm wearing a very plain casual outfit today we had a week where it was like freezing freezing cold but it's actually not that bad main tank top from tank air which i got from depop so it was cheaper than what how expensive this top is but i'm not gonna lie it was so worth it um it's a good basic to have these adidas joggers which are the perfect length which is so rare for me like i have very short legs so that was just like great and then sambas and then i have this little cardigan bolero thing which was actually in my shop and then really cold so i put it on and then i ended up taking it home and keeping it because the stuff in my shop i actually don't try on so then it forces me not to keep stuff off the day by looking for some vintage items to post from depop that i've sold first look at our orders since thursday which was our last post day through all these drawers and everything i tried i've tried to organize it as best as possible and i do find the items pretty quickly now so i want to show you like this little miss mitski smisky um thing that i have and it's like glow in the dark probably really bad that i got the name wrong but i thought it was really cute because it has a computer so i put it next to my computer office vibes and then i have this i basically needed a coaster for my office and i just didn't want to get a boring one and i thought this was a cute one so i got this queen miffy coaster and i hyped myself up being in the office guys i'm so happy that i'm vlogging i've actually missed it so much and i love vlogging so i'm excited to start this week all the vintage items i usually do the vivi way stuff after i do the vintage items just to keep them separate because there's a different like packaging process <laughs> for both things this is all the vintage stuff that i sold over the weekend from depop vivi way stuff i've just picked up from my seamstress she just came and dropped them off so 
I've got to post them in a sec. So personalised packaging, flyers in each package. And it's kind of cute because you can, it's got a little illustration on it, um, which you can put as like a little postcard or something on your wall. Or you can keep, I know this girl that I came to my shop said that she keeps all of the flyers she gets from small businesses. So I thought it was a cute idea to like at least make it look a little bit pretty. Shirt top. And it's got this really nice ribbing, but it's semi sheer, which adds a nice little detail. I've got these new North Face slippers because my feet get really cold in the office because the floor is really cold. And these were on sale, they were £30. But let me tell you, these are the best slippers ever. They're like blankets on your feet. It's like a puffer jacket for your feet. It's so so cozy and like squidgy so i've been doing this really slowly but this is some of the stuff i want to try on i'm not necessarily keeping all of it i just wanted to try it on some depop stuff and then this whole pile of stuff i'm taking to the shop this week stocks from wednesday to sunday i do the biggest restock on wednesday and then it stocks throughout the rest of the week I mean, I've just filmed my TikTok, all the stuff that I'm bringing. There's no point in me filming it again if you can go have a look at the TikTok. After that news about the flat, like, it's made me really unproductive, really unmotivated to carry on the day. But I've done all the main things I'm meant to do today, so I actually might go home. It's four o'clock now. I do have so much mess to tidy. She's crazy right now. Unpack all the cardboard, you know, when you flatten it. I just like the energy level is at zero right now to be doing that. Okay, what I'm gonna do before I leave is semi tackle this mess. Tomorrow I need to make it a bit of a Vivi Way day. Okay, it's looking a little bit better. This bag is broken, I don't have any spare, so this is gonna have to do. And I put it in this bag as a spare. This is piled on top of other bags, which I meant to bring to the shop. So I have so much stock for the next couple of weeks. So the studio is messy again, but I mean, at least it's, she's looking cute, this office. You can see the light a little be bit better. So today is sorting the studio out day. Meeting up with my pattern cutter later because I have some new designs and I really want to get started on those before I go to Japan. I have a list of like admin stuff I have to do. I need to go to the post office for people who ordered yesterday first class. And first off, I'm going to do the cardboard. Got a very comfy, simple outfit today because obviously all my stuff is packed away. I only have two outfits I can wear. these bags now i obviously need to go to the shop tomorrow but i usually come in pick up the stock in the morning and then get an uber there because i obviously can't carry all this stuff on the tube and then walking for like 15 minutes just put all the stuff that i'm bringing tomorrow in maybe two of these bags try and organize the rest of the studio after oh my god these are huge i didn't realize they're gonna be that big, but it's fine. This also gives me a chance to show you guys what I'm actually bringing tomorrow because I didn't show it yesterday. I was not in the greatest of moods, so I can show you today actually. This great Miss 60s side zip puffer jacket. All of these jackets are such good quality. I don't know how I've been able to get them, but I love this so much. I love all the zip detailing and stuff, and it's also got a little buckle belt detail at the bottom. Um, I have so many jackets which a side zip, like for example this, very similar, it's not from Miss 60, but you can see it's such a similar style, it's just got the fur instead of a little collar, yellow jacket with a shirling lining, this is from Diesel, this is a men's jacket but obviously is unisex at the same time, it's from Quicksilver, black hooded puffer here, a dipped asymmetric flowy skirt with lace detailing on the bottom cool khaki flowy skirt get this knitted long sleeve 
jumper. Part khaki long sleeve. This diesel jacket, I've had a couple of these already and they sell literally the day that I put it out. I have one of these for myself. It's this beautiful khaki kind of gradient style denim jacket. Puffy jacket, this one's super warm because it's got a fabric lining as well. This is cockapine sheer tunic top slash dress. And on the top with this red embroidery on the sleeve which is so pretty. Grey kind of long sleeve knit. This one's got an open back which is super cool and I love the neckline with the lace and the bow. Silver puma long sleeve. A lot of this stuff I showed in my TikTok actually. This long sleeve zip detail jacket slash thick top. Barky hooded puffer. Oh this cockapine zip up top with blue kind of piping. Okay guys, I have done tidying. Stuff in the corner is stuff that I need to take pictures in this week. So there's no point me packing this away until I've taken photos in them. This is all the stuff that I've kept over the last couple of months. I just haven't taken it home. Obviously I can't take it on public transport. I'm just basically, when I do move in somewhere, fingers crossed, I'm just gonna transport it straight from here to the flat. So I'm just having a little bit of try on some clothes I might potentially wear this weekend because I'm going out Thursday, Friday and Saturday and I want to wear some cute outfits. So cute guys. She's defo being kept. I actually had something like this upcoming for my Vivier design already. So like, I guess this is a vintage version. Oh my god, wait, it's so cute. The colour is so nice. I also like how it can be worn as a cardigan as well. <gasps> Wait, it's so nice. Okay, whoa, this is so flattering, guys. I love this. It just fits me really nicely. It's like very flattering. I'm really into one shoulder tops at the moment. I never thought I would like them because I don't really like bandos because they're just not very flattering on my uh, figure, but I love that. Okay, I can't lie. I love this and I love in it everything. But does it suit me? Maybe it's the colour tone or the fit. I'm not sure. Okay, hello. This top is cute. I feel like sometimes it's hard to know if it looks nice when your hair and your makeup isn't done. Do you know what I mean? But I mean, this is so flattering because it ties up. So it makes it a little bit tighter around the waist, which I love. It's just a really beautiful top actually. This is definitely one for summer. So cute actually. And the back is literally blackless. Yeah, I really like this one. Okay guys, I literally have the coolest top from Cop Copine. It's meant to be worn. Like, what's going on? What is going on? Thing? Nah. Okay, I was wearing it the wrong way around, but I I don't like it this way. Like, what is this? I need to figure out how you're meant to wear it. I've obviously got jeans under me, so it's not very flattering. But, what's going on? I don't know. I'm very confused. Oh, maybe like that? I don't know, I just feel like I look so stupid. Oh my god, how beautiful. Is this colour? Yay! Really like this colour. I think it just goes with my skin colour a lot more because it's a bit more warm toned rather than cool toned. Okay, another jacket. Oh my god! Literally turning into a haul. Half a jacket. I'm actually gonna stop now and save the rest for an actual haul. But this is so nice. Wednesday morning. I've got to go to the shop with my mum to help me out because I have all this stuff to carry and I obviously can't, ca I can't carry it myself. So I'm going to order an Uber for us straight to the shop and then she can help me carry all the stuff. When I get to the shop, I always start off by tagging my restock items, pricing them, colour coordinating them and hanging them all up. A lot to do before 11.30 as I usually only have half an hour to do it, but somehow I always manage. I think I just get quicker every single time because the time limit just pressurises me to do it really quickly. I wore a very simple plain outfit. I didn't really put effort into that day at all. I went to get my lunch in Dal Fiorentino and Cheshire Street, which 
which is so good guys i think they do homemade focaccia that's why it tastes so amazing and the ingredients are just really fresh and it was just amazing i'm gonna go there every single time now vintage archive are located right opposite me in the brick lane vintage market and they sell some really amazing archival pieces camilla who owns the store is just so well knowledge about all her pieces so go and check that out as well so i'm at home in my family home i never actually filmed in my bedroom got a really jam-packed day today i've got two flat viewings one is at 10 so i'm going to leave in a bit and i've got to pick up some stuff from my pattern cutter pick up some jade skirts from my seamstress I'm going to get my lashes done my eyelash extensions which i get done like every three weeks and then i'm going to another flat viewing so i have to travel to southeast again I'm going to my studio because i need to get ready because i'm going to the outsourced studio launch party thing which is all the way in dalston so i won't have enough time for my viewing to come back home and then get ready I'm leaving today fresh faced i bought all my makeup i don't even know what i'm wearing later on film all the flat viewings and stuff um today and then hopefully fingers crossed that i'll like one of them and put an offer in but that's not even guaranteed that i'm gonna get it so we'll see so the first flat was so big like it was listed as a two bed so i'd get this for someone else but it was actually a three bed it had so much storage built in like furnished it was great light everything but i just it wasn't it I'm back in the office. I've just taken depot photos for Annie or Farida to upload whilst they're in the shop, whilst it's quiet. Stuff that I need to pack away. This is all the stuff that I've just taken depot photos in. And I've got my viewing, my second viewing of the day. I obviously went to the one earlier. The second one is the one that I want, but it's a studio flat. I'd obviously prefer to live alone personally. Most of my work as well, which is basically what I want the most is about being convenient for me to commute to my office as well as Shoreditch and the shop. So fingers crossed that it goes well. So this was the studio flat. It's furnished. It doesn't come with all the furniture shown here. It's just the way that the current tenant has decorated it. I'd have less stuff to put in this room. It had built-in storage so I could hide all my clothes. The bathroom was very 60s. Separate kitchen, which was really good for a studio. And so I really liked it. Okay guys, I'm all ready. I got ready really quickly actually and I put together an outfit of all the stuff that was in my office. I know what to do with my hair. I think I'm going to do like a half up, half down number. I really don't like wearing my hair up. Although I think with coats like this you should wear your hair up. I just don't like how it looks on me. This little A-line jacket. I have this dress underneath that I'll show you in a minute. I just thought it looked really cute under this jacket. It's like this checkered brown pattern. My George, Jean and Lucy handbag. It just really goes. I also don't have any other bags with me. My grey jeans that I was wearing earlier. These Mary Janes that I was wearing earlier as well. I don't know about the shoes, but again, I don't have any other options. I think it looks really cute, actually. I'm just going to show you the underneath. And Okay, this is what I was wearing underneath. The reason why, like, I don't know if I'd wear this on its own just because I think it's not that flattering on my body. I've tried to do half up, half down. But it's not really working, I don't. My hair's just really temperamental all the time. I don't have any straighteners or anything with me, so this is just gonna have to do. I wanted to do it so there's like a little bun here. I have a bit of a fringe. I've always had a side part, apart from... When I was little, I used to have, like, a full-on fringe. I've never had a middle part. It looks so bad on me. I don't know what... Like, I was just never born to have a middle part. It looks awful. Actually, the hair... Just a simple little bun, half up, half down. I do need to leave. Cute, I think. I think I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. 